My name is Lori Lipsman, and I'm at Desert Dairy in 29 Palms. I have having a residency here for a week, and I've been working on the property and hiking in Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree entrance is super close, and I wanted to really connect myself to the National Park and to this property. I brought with me a Polaroid, vintage Polaroid refurbished SX70 camera, which I've never played around with um, Polaroids before, and I took this opportunity to see where that media could take me. Instead of taking photos and printing them, I thought I could have the prints instantly. It's also part of my free art practice where all these works will be free. Um, during the reception, I'll ask for donations if they want. They could, don't have to donate, but half the half of the donations will go to Desert uh, Dairy and half will go to Nas Friends of National Joshua Tree National Park. Um, so I, I also did some drawing. I did a long hike one day and took a chair and sat out by um, contact mine and drew um, these little drawings of the rocks out there. So I, t I took a, lo a longer hike, four mile hike to contact um, mine and did some drawings, took a chair, some drawing tools and was able to spend a good hour and a half out there just drawing. Only ran into two people, it was, so it was super peaceful and I really got to focus on the shapes of the boulders because the two, the. Th Two, three projects I wanted to do were the boulders of Joshua Tree, the Joshua Trees within Joshua Tree, and then the uh, desert dairy photographing these areas. So I have some black and white photos. I got to play around with the Polaroid black and white film. I did um, black and white with the boulders and with Joshua Trees. And then um, here's part of the desert dairy series where I actually cut up the Polaroids and juxtaposed them with different Polaroids to give a more abstract view of the landscape here. And then I did, these were cut horizontally and with the Joshua trees, I cut them vertically and put two Joshua trees together. And those are in color, not black and white. I did do a black and white series of the Joshua trees, which I drew over with some pens there over there. And all the extra photos are here. Um, and then the boulders, I played around with cutting them into quarters and reconfiguring them into to make an abstract little piece of Polaroid artwork. So this is some of the extra work here. And these ones aren't on display, but this is the black and white um, Joshua trees where I just took marker and colored in just with marker certain areas just to play around with it. My practice is not only serious, it's much more, it's very playful. Okay. So while I was out here, I also took the opportunity to visit um, a lot of the art, art that's going on in the desert, and a lot of it is assemblage with found pieces within the desert. And when I went to Kathy Allen's little village she has created in the in the desert, I got the idea because I had made been making voodoo dolls in the past, and I was like, oh, it'd be fun to make some more voodoo dolls with stuff I can find here on the property. So I created these five voodoo dolls. So the advantage of having a longer period of time to do a specific project for me is I could really dive in to it more specifically, but also I got to play around with like a different series. So it wasn't just one series where I would usually see that to completion. I got to really play around with different aspects and specifically here in the desert being on this property, which is unbelievably awesome and then so close to Joshua Tree and also seeing all the other artists I, I could take all that and bring it back and keep working on these different series and while I was here I got inspired to do more series like I was only going to do three series and I ended up doing a lot more series which for me it's really awesome to have that time to explore those things and I'll take this stuff back and work with it you know as my practice keeps going.